Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Moonrakers. This version of Moonrakers is a community created mod, so it is available in the Steam Workshop. Links available in the description below. This one titled Moonrakers High Quality Scripted by the Four Games Community Discord. As always with the Tabletop Simulator series, we're not going to go in depth on the rules or an extent of how to play, but focus on what is scripted, what is done for you, and then what you, the users, are going to have to manage, maintain, and control on your own. So, with that, let's jump right into this version of Moonrakers. Hey everyone, welcome to this game of Moonrakers on Tabletop Simulator. Let's go ahead and explore the components on the table and then show you exactly what the game looks like when you're looking to play it. So to begin, um, there are five player boards set up for up to a five player game. So just take a seat as always on the color of your choosing. Myself and my table mate have selected green and yellow. From there, you'll notice you've got the individual player boards. You have the armory board, which will contain the action deck and the ship parts with three and one credits. We've got the hazard dice the player ships, additional decks for um, building out what your hand, the dispatch board, which is where you'll have the prestige track on your way to 10 prestige for victory, uh, the contract or the objective decks and the contract decks. So when you're ready to begin play, uh, once you, every, all players have taken a seat, decide if you want to include the first encounter expansion, with a toggle of yes or no. For this play, we're just gonna say no. Basically, it's some bonus promo cards. So once all players have taken a seat, go ahead and click the startgame.exe button right in the middle. It's gonna ask you if you are ready and if all players are seated. Simply toggle the yes when ready, and then what's going to happen is it's going to deal out the entire play area according to the setup rules. Those setups, obviously, here on your default loadout, you're going to receive uh, three um, actions, two thrusters, two shields, two attack, and one miss. All players start with the same hand in the beginning. It's additionally going to deal out three objectives, of which you're going to keep two, so you're going to discard the one, and then it's going to fill in the armory and dispatch boards. So let's see what that looks like. And you're set. So once the game is, is set up, the rest is up to you. So this one is a fully scripted setup for however many players are at the table. From this point forward, you are on your own for managing your hand, uh, managing your discard, managing the reshuffle, um, handling your turns, and then of course, clicking into the next turn. So my table mate, it's their turn. So what we'll see is that um, as they take their turn or I'm gonna take their turn for them, there is actually an end turn button at the top of the screen. So once the player has completed everything that they want to do for their turn, then they're just simply gonna hit end turn and then it's gonna move to the next player. And then that player will be able to take their turn as well. So in this particular version, you're going to start, like I said, with the three cards of which one you're going to discard. So I'm just going to randomly discard the one, putting it back at the bottom of the objective deck. And then all players around the table would do the same. Next, all players are going to deal up five cards into their hands. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to actually draw them out kind of in the middle of the table so that, um, or I'm going to draw them face up out in front of me instead of drawing them hidden into my hand just so that we can see um, what everything is going to be. So we got some thrusters, some shields, uh, reactors. That's what those blue ones are called. My bad. All right. So once all players have dealt into their hand the five cards required, now the players whose turn it is, is ready to take their actions. So to begin, you're going to do one of two things, as indicated on your card here. Can I zoom that in? There we go. So you're going to select a contract, you're going to invite any allies into that contract, negotiate any rewards, roll the dice, etc. Or option two, you're going to stay at the base, take your one credit, draw up two objectives and keep one of them. 
And then of course, if you stay at the base, you still have the option to purchase any ship parts or crew if you have the credits for it. So on this player's turn, let's say they wanted to take a look at what's available in the, um, in the objectives deck, or sorry, in the contracts uh, board. So up here, we've got this one requires five attacks uh, and one uh, hazard die, but the reward is one prestige, five credits, and an additional one card of their choosing to bring into their hand. This one takes two attack, one shield, and that shield will block the one um, hazard that you're required to roll as well, which is kind of neat. So taking a look at player one's hand, they have two shields, an attack, and a thruster. So is there anything up here? Uh, two shields, an attack, and a thruster. Yeah, they could take, this, say for example, this contract. So when you're ready to take a contract, go ahead and grab the contract and put it into the active contracts section. Now what's kind of neat about that is this mod will take it from its normal size and increase it a bit so that all players are, are able to kind of focus in and understand what the active contract is. So then on the player's turn, they're going to go ahead and take their uh, turn. Oh, they don't have any thrusters. Oh, that's a bad one then. <laughs> but you guys understand and get the, uh, the idea. So let's say they did take this one and let's, let's just pretend for demonstration's sake that this miss were a thruster. They would then have two additional actions and then they would be able to play in their, um, the next thruster that they needed, or sorry, reactor. Or no, they need to play an attack. Let me play that. Play the attack, there we go. And then they would resolve the cards in any capacity, and then you're ready to go. Now this one didn't require me to roll any hazard dice, but if I did, I would take a hazard die, give it a quick, you know, R, and oh man, two hazard for that one. So I would need to somehow, you know, plan out my turn, understand how I might wanna go about um, handling those hazards, but once the contract is completed, uh, go ahead and discard it to the bottom of the deck, refilling any empty spaces. And then of course, if you've had any prestige that you need to take, go ahead and move your uh, ship up the number of spaces per the prestige. And then, like I said, up top, there is an end um, turn button, then it'll move on to the next player. Make sure you clean up your turn by putting any discards uh, face up over here, and then draw yourself up to five cards. And that's it. So that'll do it for this version of uh, Moonrakers. Um, really, really well done. The artwork is, is really nicely uh, done in. And as you can see, though, the only thing scripted for you is that initial setup. But like most games, you know, the setup probably takes the longest. So once it takes all of that, you know, out of your hands and does it very cleanly and with some nice animations for you, really well done. So if you have any questions about this particular version of Moonrakers, guys, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Happy to answer them for you as best as I can. And if uh, you uh, need anything else, you know, definitely welcome your feedback as always. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to uh, leave a like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate the support. And as always, until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching.